All right. Our third guest up tonight. You've seen him on the uh, Discovery ID channel TV show, I Married a Mobster. Uh, let's give a late night welcome to my good friend, Tony Marie Ricci. <laughs> Good evening, how are you? Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Hi, how are you? Hi, nice how are to you? see you. Same here. Yes, give yourself a clip. You got it. I'm surprised, you, did you fall asleep waiting around or no? Yeah. <laughs> they make really, you, I'm they, here since quarter to seven. <laughs> they make you some good coffee? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, cool, well here we are right now. Absolutely. Now listen, we've seen you on the, uh, the hit TV show, I Married a Mobster. Mm -hmm. How did right. your, your life story wind up getting picked up into a, a, an episode of the series? Um, actually, what had happened was um, Mob Wives, the show Mob Wives, had come to me and asked me if I would be on that show. Um, I was looking to tell my story because my ex-husband had told my dirty laundry out in open court, and so I felt that I needed to uh, say what I needed to say on my sure. end. And I didn't really want to do something like that, so I looked up ID Discovery. A friend of mine was on, Love Majewski. Love. And uh, it was exactly what I wanted. It was just me one-on-one -on -one yeah. and me telling my story, no one arguing with me, fighting with me, denying what I'm saying is true or not. And Kevin Kaufman, the producer, mm -hmm. director, great guy, mm -hmm. and he gave me that opportunity. And uh, I was happy that I did it. Yeah, that's a great series. It is. It's, it's a very good series. And like I said, you know, you, you're there and you're telling your side of the story. It's more emotional. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no fighting. It's a serious matter. I think it's a serious matter. And, um, you know, um, so I had the opportunity and, and I took it. Well, a lot of those, uh, the, the series, the shows, are based on true p real people's life. A lot of people don't even believe it when they see it, but it's all true. The Reenacted. Exactly, it's reenacted um, with um, actors. Yeah, which so that was what I asked you. Did you like the actors that played the, yes, parts of your life? The actor that played me, she actually looked just like me, mm -hmm. and I've never met her before until the premiere, and she was spot on. Uh, she she was ex she acted exactly like I did, so I was happy with her. And the the gentleman that played my ex husband, he also was excellent. So the producer told me. I, the two people that I picked, you're going to be very happy so with. So what do they method them? They they like they interview all these people for your personalities and everybody. To um, basically, the show? yeah, yeah, that's what they do, and mm -hmm. they find the person that's closest to you, and he did a great job. So and I saw uh, it, it was very entertaining. It was, yeah, <laughs> it was. You know, it's 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 all true. You know, some people, you know, when they see that type of story, um, you know, there's a misconception a lot with a lot of the situations with those men. Um, my story is a little more serious. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of things transpired due to uh, my ex-husband. And I'm actually coming out with a book mm -hmm. and um, Scars of a Real Mob Wife. And um, it's going to be a great book. It's, I'm gearing it more towards women. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to hear from the woman side of the view, someone that was really married to a mobster, which uh -huh. I was. A lot of women say they were, but they weren't. But I was. Um, and it wasn't, you know, um, it was a tough life. So uh, when you read, you know, we're doing, I have a, a portrait with me yeah, what today. Do you have over there? Actually, um, Michael Bell, um, which you can find him on mbellart.com. He's an unbelievable artist. Mm -hmm. He's actually painted for a lot of the Sopranos okay. actors. And John Gotti, sen uh, senior also, family member, did a portrait mm -hmm. and this is one of seven that's going to be in my book oh nice so it's my life story which has never been done before so it's groundbreaking actually and um, it's going to be seven paintings in the book I'm also going to have recipes because I love to cook Italian big oh, family yeah, I'm a great cook that's good. <laughs> and so that's going to be in there and um, I'm looking forward to that it's going to be out in June uh -huh. and um, you know once people read it, um, they're going to understand more of what a woman goes through. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people say that they don't feel sorry for women like us because we knew what we were getting into, um, and that's not true. So a lot of people are going to be amazed when they read it. There's no stones left unturned. Um, it's raw. You know, from the beginning, you'll go through it with me to the end. And um, unfortunately, I had to live it. Um, but in the end, uh, it's going to be a great book. It's going to be a great read. Best of luck with you. I mean, you deserve it. You, Thank you. You. You, came, you came out of it alive. 
Exactly, exactly. Strong, and that's my point also. You got a also. new man. He, he looks like a cool guy. Exactly. I'm remarried, and my son is doing great. And um, women need to uh, learn to be strong and pick themselves up and okay. move on. Yeah, I'm sure you have a lot of advice for women in similar situations. Yeah, I do. I absolutely do because of what I went through. And if I could help one woman, then I've done my job. And, and that's what I'm looking to do. Mm -hmm. Nothing more than that. You know, if they can hear my voice and, you know, there's other situations, women are verbally abused, mentally abused. And, uh, you know, it's basically the same thing. You just need to know to find the strength and people to back you up and help you. Right. Family members, friends, mm -hmm. whatever it may be. And, you know, just keep going. Don't let nothing hold you back. Now, listen, what was, what was the result of your husband cooperating with the government? You want to tell everybody about that a little? Um, actually, um, I was married for 17 years, and um, he was in that lifestyle. And he, just, he had gotten arrested, and he decided he didn't want to do the time. So he um, testified against John Gotti Jr. So he ratted. Yes. Okay. He's in the Witness Protection Program. And um, not only him, uh, there was, I believe, uh, 80 guys mm. that he ratted on. So How many he, years ago was this? Um, he just finished two years ago testifying. Yeah, because I remember that. I didn't know what he had part of that, but I remember all those guys went down. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he even uh, cooperated against my own brother, which wow. was his brother-in-law. So um, the result of that was actually I had to, and my son also had to go to court and testify on John Gotti Jr.'s behalf. So uh, we did what we had to do, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, it's not an easy life. It's not for everyone, and, you know, you learn. You live and you learn, yeah. and, you know, I've learned a lot of things from it. You know what they say, live by the sword, die by the sword, right? Well, yeah, kind of. Believe yeah, me, exactly. I, wa I wanted to be a gangster when I was a kid, but I went into rock and roll instead. Good for you. <laughs> good for you. No, I did. <laughs> well, you're better off. It's, it's not a good life. It's short-term lived, and in the end, you know, there's only disasters that happen. It'd be so. nice to play a gangster in the movies, but, right? That's okay. If you want to do that. Like De Niro? Absolutely. <laughs> Al Pacino, that'd yeah. be cool, right? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> you, you got that look. <laughs> <laughs> you got that cuisine Italian look, Johnny. Cougine. I got the cuisine rock look. <laughs> so, what are your plans for the future besides your book? I'm um, doing my book, Scars of a Real Mob Wife, and then after that, um, we're going to do a cookbook. Oh, nice. Italian recipes. So, I'm looking forward to that. Hey, if you need any recipes, I got a, a, a sick vodka sauce. Yeah, everybody makes no, vodka sauce. No, but this is good. I got a lot of recipes. <laughs> I got a lot of recipes that you never heard of. So. I can make one up. Yeah. Huh? Late night vodka sauce. How's that? Uh, I'll, name, I'll name one after you. How about that? All right, cool. <laughs> so now listen, where can people get in touch with you on the internet, Twitter, Facebook? I'm on Twitter, Tony Marie Ricci. I'm also on Facebook, Tony right, Marie cool. Ricci. So they can reach me out on there anytime. I'm always on and I'm always corresponding with all my, my fans and followers. Oh, good. So. Listen, best of luck. When the book Thank comes you. out, I want you back on the show. Okay, you and got then it. We'll, we'll part two. Yeah, absolutely. How's I'll, that? And I'll sign it for you, of you course. It, I want you to kiss it, too, with red lipstick. Oh, with red <laughs> lipstick. That's love, Majuska, not me. Oh, she's great. I love, love, if you're out there watching, good luck. Stay out of trouble. All right, Tony Marie Ricci, everybody. Thank you. Take care. Have a seat. Thank you. Stay here? Yeah. Okay, I'm staying. All right. Tony Marie, huh?